Welcome to the Lab Kids Preschool. My name is Pastor Danae, and I'm so glad you're joining us today. We're gonna have so much fun. Woo! This month, we are starting a brand new theme and we are talking about sharing the most important thing that you could share. Do you have any guesses about what it could be? Let's see. Hmm. Do you think it's your toys? Which is your favorite toy? Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Do you think it's your crayons? Nope, that's not it. Maybe your food. No. Hmm. Well, all of those things are pretty fun and pretty important, but they aren't the most important thing that we could share. The most important thing that we could share is Jesus. And this month, our big idea is God wants me to tell people about Jesus. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? That's the sound for our story sample. Our story sample gives us a hint of what our Bible story and big idea is about. Let's take a look together. On the count of three, can you say, zoom in? One, two, three, zoom in. Hmm, it's a picture of a family. What could that have to do with our Bible story? Well, we know this month we're talking about God wants us to tell people about Jesus and all sorts of different people that God wants us to tell about Jesus. Hmm. I wonder if today's Bible story has something to do with telling our families about Jesus. Let's go check out our Bible story together and see if we can get some more information. Hey friends, I'm Liam. I'm Emma. And I'm Karina. And we are the Super Crew. <laughs> and Bark, of course. We couldn't forget about you, buddy. You are just in time. We are pretending to have our very own show called Super Big News. Do you want to play with us? Yes. Great. Let's get started. We are live in three, two, one. Welcome to the Super Big News Show. I'm Liam. Today on the Super Big News Show, Emma has some super big news to tell us. Go ahead, Emma. Thanks, Liam. I do have some super duper big news to share. I just found out that I'm going to have a baby brother. Wow, Emma, you're going to have a baby brother. That means you're going to be a big sister. That is super special news. Thanks for telling us. Oh, hey, did you hear that? That sounds like the super box. Let's go see. You're right, Liam. It is the super box. Did you send us something super? Yes! yes! Great! Let's see what's inside. Whoa! Can you tell us what it is? A plate! You're right. Our super clue today is a plate. Hmm. Let's see. Today's big deal is big news. God wants me to tell people about Jesus. But I wonder, how does a plate connect to today's big deal? Can you wonder with us? I think I got it. A plate is something we use when we eat dinner with our family. And today's big deal is big news. God wants me to tell people about Jesus. When we eat dinner with our family, we talk together and tell about the super big things we learned or things that are important to us. And the biggest and best news we can tell is the big news about Jesus. Oh, I have some more big news. I know a story in the Bible that tells us about someone sharing Jesus with someone in his family. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true and it's for you. Today's Bible story comes from the book of John. Can you say John? John! Great job. Andrew brought his brother to Jesus. John the Baptist was teaching people about Jesus. John was a man sent from God to tell people that God's son, Jesus, was coming. One day, John saw Jesus walking toward him. John said, here is God's son who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I told you about. 
The next day, John was standing with two disciples when he saw Jesus again. Look, he said. John wanted them to know that Jesus was there. The two disciples heard John's words and decided to follow Jesus. Jesus noticed that they were following him. Jesus asked, what are you looking for? Teacher, they said, where are you staying? Come with me and you will see, Jesus replied. So they went with him and stayed until about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the disciples who followed Jesus was named Andrew. Andrew went to find his brother, Simon. He told Simon to come with him because they had found Jesus. Simon decided to follow Jesus too, and Jesus gave him a new name. Jesus called him Peter. Wow, did you hear that? Andrew had a brother, just like you are going to have a brother, Emma. Yeah, and when Andrew heard the good news of Jesus, he went to his brother Simon to tell him and share the big, big news. So... Today we have learned that we can tell our families about Jesus. God wants us to tell lots of people about Jesus, and we can start with the people we see all the time, our family. We're glad you stopped by the clubhouse today. We hope to see you again real soon. Say bye, Bark. Bye. Whoa, what an incredible Bible story. Our Bible story was about a family. Now, I hope you were paying attention because here I have some review clues and we're going to go through them together and you see if you can figure out what they have to do with today's Bible story. Let's put on my review clue glasses. Oop, okay. Our first review clue, hmm, there's a grasshopper and some honey. What do those have to do with our Bible story? I don't even think those were in our Bible story. Hmm. I got it. Did you get it? A few weeks ago, we talked about John the Baptist and his favorite food was grasshoppers and honey. How cool is that? And in the beginning of our story, John the Baptist was showing people the way to Jesus. And then let's see what our next review clue is. Are you ready? Here we go. <gasps> hmm. We have an arrow and it says follow. Now, Andrew and some of John the Baptist's other disciples, they knew that they wanted to follow Jesus. Now, Andrew didn't just stop there at following Jesus. He did something else. And it is going to be revealed by our third review clue. Are you ready? Here we go. Number three, we have some brothers. Hmm. Do you remember in the Bible story when Andrew ran home and told his brothers all about Jesus and how awesome he was? And what did his brothers do? They decided to follow Jesus too. Well, excellent work, boys and girls. You did such a good job listening to our Bible story. We know that God wants us to share Jesus with other people and we can start right with our family. That might look like sharing what you learned at church today with your mom and dad or with your brother or sister. It could mean just walking around when you meet family members who know Jesus or don't know Jesus, telling them that God loves them so much. We can share Jesus with our family. I can tell my family about God. How amazing is that? Did you hear that sound? That means it's time to learn our new memory verse for this month. Let's go to the Bible lab and learn it together. Hi friends, welcome to the Bible Lab. My name is Miss Faith and I'm here to show you our new memory verse. And it goes like this. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28 verse 19. Can you stand up and try it with me? Here we go. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28 verse 19. Great job friends. Wow, you guys are picking that up quick. I love that we're learning the Bible together because we know that God's word is for us and it is so great to have it in our minds and in our hearts. Well, I'm so glad that you came to join us today. I pray that this week you'd be able to share Jesus with your family. Let's pray together and thank God that he sent his son Jesus for us and ask him for his help too. We're gonna put our hands together and close our eyes so we can focus on our great, big, awesome God. God, I thank you for every single boy and girl who's watching today. I thank you that they're watching probably because somebody told them about Jesus. 
So Father, I pray that you would just make them big and bold and brave, that they would be sharing Jesus with people around them, especially their family this week. We love you so much. Thank you that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for coming today, boys and girls. I hope you have an awesome week. I hope you go out and tell your family all about Jesus and how much God loves them. And I hope to see you back next week, either here or in person at one of our campuses. Bye. Can't wait.